Triple E EDC back again with another knife sale. So I was on the live stream tonight and a couple of people mentioned to me that uh, they would like me to go ahead and post the sale video tonight. Uh, I had mentioned that I was thinking of selling some knives and everyone was saying, hey, you know what, go ahead and post it tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So uh, this is the sale video. Now how I work my sales, a couple of ground rules. If you're interested in a knife, email me at triple.e.edc at gmail.com. I will, uh, all the prices on my knives are or best offer. If you give me a full offer, full price offer, you will automatically get the knife, okay? If you give me a less than full price offer, a counter offer, uh, as we would call it, then if a full price offer comes in behind you or a, uh, a better offer comes in behind you, the full price offer wins out, the better offer I reserve the right to take, uh, and, and so on and so on. So just be aware when you're making offers that, you, you know, if you're, if you're close to a full price offer and you really want the knife, just make a full price offer. Uh, the money goes to all the giveaways on the channel anyway. Um, you know, all, all the money is recycled into the channel to either buy uh, knives for content or to fund giveaways. So, uh, you know, and, and I do a ton of giveaways on here, as you guys know. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the knives. If you want a knife, again, triple.e.edc at gmail.com. Email me at triple.e.edc at gmail.com. Okay, let's go ahead and start. This is the Off-Grid Knives Scorpion. Now, this is an excellent knife. This is uh, uh, this is sort of like a like a SOCOM Elite Light, uh, if you will. So it's a CPM S35 VN steel. It's titanium and carbon fiber. This is made by Wee Knives for Off-Grid. Uh, this is, you know so you're gonna get that great Wee Knives fit and finish. You have that nice carbon fiber in here, nice titanium. Uh, you know, black and titanium. You have really nice ceramic bearings uh, by Wee Knives. And you've also got, you know, a nice detent in here as well. I mean, listen to this detent, right? So you can, you can hear it smacks because the detent is dialed in just so very well, right? So uh, nice and smooth with, the, with those ceramic bearings. And uh, you have a nice deep carry pocket clip here, uh, as you can see. Nice centering on this. Um, this is in really good shape. Uh, this is, as you can see, right here. Nice shape on the knife all around. So this is, like I said, a, almost like a SOCOM Elite Light. And you'll see what I mean right here, okay? The blade shape is very similar. Uh, it, you know, it, it cuts very much the same way. The SOCOM's not for sale, uh, but as you can see, it's, it's a little bit smaller in most dimensions. It's not quite as bulky. So this is sort of a more EDC friendly SOCOM Elite. If you really like the SOCOM Elite and you've, or you've been wanting a SOCOM Elite and, and you, uh, it, you know, and, and this is something that you are okay with, uh, I shouldn't say okay with, this is a great knife. Um, if this is something that you would like as an alternative to, uh, to a SOCOM Elite, then I would say yes, definitely pick this up. It actually has titanium, whereas a SOCOM Elite has aluminum, um, you know, and, uh, uh, and again, it's just got that really nice action with a with nice thwack here, uh, just like the SOCOM Elite does, nice shape like the SOCOM Elite. Uh, the normal price for these is like 220 or 230, I think 235. Um, however, it is, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the, new, at the price right now. The normal price is 265. They went on sale for 235. They're currently on sale for 210. I'm only asking 160 for this. If you're, if you get a SoCom Elite, you're going to pay more than that. So, uh, 160 for this. Uh, and this is a nice comparator to the SoCom Elite. So, uh, again, if you want this 160, uh, hit, hit me up at triple.e.edc at gmail.com to claim the knife. Next up. I have the funky little knife here, the Terrain 365 uh, Mini Butterfly Knife. Now, this is a really funky knife. As you can see, it does have a pocket clip on it. This, uh, I am not the first owner. This was previously sanded down. Um, this, this had like a bead blast finish. It was worn off. Honestly, this finish is probably better than the bead blast finish because that would get all scratched up. This is titanium. Uh, and in addition to being titanium, whoops, I'm dropping it here. In addition to be, being titanium, it is teravantium. So it is that dendritic cobalt teravantium. Uh, this is by D Rocket Designs. Uh, and if you uh, you know have the if you saw the video on the original Invictus with the teravantium, uh, or have seen any of those, and you want to check out the steel, it's non -mag non magnetic, non ferrous. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's a really cool steel. This you can do a bunch of the um, a bunch of the tricks. It's hard to do it on the camera, uh, but you can do a bunch of the tricks on, on this. 
um, you know, even despite the size, which is really cool. Um, this goes ahead and locks down to close the knife. Uh, it also, you know, when you want to open the knife, it goes through and locks like this. You actually pu push it through this way, and it comes on this side, and you pull down. That's how you lock it in. Uh, it is a three-finger knife. It's not a four-finger knife, but it is very cool. It's, like a, it's a very cool fifth pocket knife, and I found myself sort of fidgeting around with this all the time uh, as a fifth pocket knife with me as I'm, you know, going from place to place. So, uh, and by the way, this is one of those valleys that you can have around you, and it doesn't freak people out. So, uh, you know, a lot of other valleys will freak people out. Anyway, these, because of the teravantium and because, the, you know, of the titanium and everything, and the, the fact that it's a valley, uh, this goes for 250 originally, uh, considering you know it, I'm the not the first owner, and considering that uh, this is um, Terav this is Teravantium, uh, or I'm sorry, that considering it was sanded down, I'm asking 175. Now this is you know something that is completely sold out everywhere. So if you want this um, 175, go ahead and hit me up at triple.e.edc at gmail.com. All right, next up we have a monster, the Spyderco K2. So the Spyderco K2 is an absolute monster. And just for size comparison's sake, here's a pair of three, right? So you can see this thing is is huge, right? Um, the pair of three is not for sale, but I just wanted to show you guys how big this thing is. This is a monster, but it is a beautiful monster. Uh, it is um, just very nice... Uh, you know, and smooth. It feels a lot like a Spidey Chef as far as uh, opening and closing. It has, you know, sort of a lot of the same features of a Spidey Chef. Spidey Chef where it has the, uh, you know, the stonewashed titanium scale here. Uh, it is a Tai Chung Taiwan, just like that is. Um, it is, th this is sort of a, uh, a Persian, you know, upswept blade here. Uh, it's by Farid. This was intended, I think, originally as a fighting knife. Um, I don't really know, you know, sort of what the, uh, the style was behind this as far as fighting, um, but uh, it, it works as pretty good as a folder here. Uh, I will mention a couple of things. One is that uh, the prior owner added a choil here, and in doing so seems to have nicked uh, a little bit of the blade with their Dremel tool, uh, so just be aware of that. Uh, the But these are discontinued. They are not available. This is 10V, so a lot of people have seen the, uh, the 10V PM2 sort of going for ridiculous prices. Um, because people are enamored with the steel. Well, this is also 10V. Uh, it is an excellent steel. Um, and uh, this has been sharpened, by the way. Uh, it's nice and sharp. Very, very sharp. Uh, and so I've, I've seen these priced all over the place. They were originally, um, you know, I think, uh, I think like 250 or something, and then they, they dropped to 200, I think, when they were being discontinued. Uh, and then... They sold for 400 for a while on the secondary market, uh, and now I see them sitting for 400 on eBay for a while. So I'm just going to price this at 300 to sort of cut the difference. Um, you know, I, I don't really know. I don't see too many sales of these, so I don't really know what they're going for. But again, everything's or best offer. So again, 300 on this. Uh, go ahead and email me at triple.e.edc at gmail.com, triple.e.edc at gmail.com. Someone was asking me about this on the, live stream, on the live stream, so if you're after this and that person hasn't already claimed it, um, hit me up quickly. Uh, next up, we have the Kershaw Lucha. So this is a battle song. By the way, know your state laws, guys. Uh, but this is a battle song. Uh, this is, I think it's like one. 30, I think, 130 uh, new. Um, th this is a steel balisong. You know, a lot, of, a lot of them are titanium, but in this price range, you're going to get steel. This is a steel balisong on bearings. Uh, this has been flipped very little. Uh, I just wanted to sort of get a feel for flipping it. Um, I'll probably flip it a little bit more before I let it go, but it, uh, unless the condition, uh, just because I have to review it, but uh, unless the condition changes significantly, um, I, which I don't think it is because I'm not going to use it to do any extensive cutting, um, you know, I would obviously talk to you guys if, if the condition changed. Um, but this is, uh, uh, this is going to be listed at $100, um, and it's pretty much in, you know, like new condition. I don't see a thing wrong with it. So, like new condition, $100, uh, Kershaw Lucha, um, and, uh, again, know your state laws, guys. This is a pretty long ballast song, so in case you... You're just wondering, uh, for comparison's sake, uh, here's a Mannix, right? It, it's long. 
Manix is not for sale. All right. Next is the Excalibur. So I had this up last time. This is like a $180 knife. Uh, originally, this is um, a, uh, it, it's on Teflon, but as Nick Shabazz showed in his video on this thing, it really is, it feels like it's not because it's really, really nice and smooth and loose. Only thing is the centering is not perfect on this thing. It doesn't actually rub the, the, uh, the side, um, but it is, it's just something to be aware of that the centering is, is off on this. Uh, but this is a very, very cool front flipper. This thing is very thin. So uh, it, it has a very, very thin pocket carry. Uh, just to give you guys an idea of how thin it is, here is the bug out, right? So it is thinner than the bug out. And here is the para three. It is way thinner than the para three, right? So if you're looking for a slim carry that is, uh, that's a front flipper and it's a good size front flipper because a lot of front flippers are ridiculously small. Um, this is, this will do that. And this has a nice thin slicey blade, uh, with a nice long flat grind here, uh, that gets pretty good behind the edge. You can, it has a, a decent choke up here, uh, and it has pretty good ergonomics on this thing. Uh, and honestly, this is the most fun Teflon washer knife, uh, I think I've ever had. So, um, yeah, uh, this is going to be a hundred dollars. Uh, it was listed previously at 120. Uh, and again, these sell originally for 180. So I think a hundred dollars is a good deal here. Um, probably won't back off that much at all, uh, since everyone's getting such a good deal. Uh, so come with a full price offer on this if you can. All right. Uh, next up is the Sog Terminus XR LTE, which is over here. So this is, this is not the original SOG Terminus XR, uh, which, you know, the original S35VN version was like 85 bucks, uh, you know, but this one is, is the upgraded version. This is upgraded in a few ways. Uh, one is it has the cryo-treated um, S35VN. Another way is it has the carbon fiber scales here. Another way is the liners are also carbon fiber, which takes a bunch of weight off of the knife. Uh, and also makes it really, uh, really just light and strong. Um, the action on this I find to be much better than the original XRs. I, I never had the uh, the old S35 XR, but I had the um, the D2 XR before, and I didn't like it. Uh, honestly, the action on it I didn't find to be that good. This action I like quite a bit more. So uh, I think this is much much better. Whatever they did on this to improve between last year and this year, because it seems like they were working on these knives between the two. Uh, it, it seems like they were pretty successful. These go for 140. This is still in excellent condition. I did cut a, a couple boxes on this just to get a feel for the knife, uh, but it did zero damage to the coating or anything like that. As you can see here, um, everything is in tip top shape. And uh, so they, they originally go for 140. I'm gonna list this one at 120. Uh, and uh, oh, by the way, guys, um, shipping is included on all these uh, domestically. International people are welcome to buy. Uh, if you're international, you're welcome to buy, but you'll pay the difference in shipping. Um, also, uh, you, you'll you'll be responsible for any um, uh, you know issues with customs or anything like that as well. All right. Uh, next up, we have the Protec Harkins ATAC. So this knife, honestly, is going to pain me to part with, um, but I have to trim down the collection. This is a knife that they do not make very often. They make this once every couple of years. Uh, they make a small run because it takes up a ton of machine time and it shuts down their entire shop to get the tooling right. Uh, so they, they really don't do it that often. And when they do it, uh, they do it in limited runs, like I said. <clears throat> so this is a dual action. That means that you have that really nice action right there that didn't even do it justice. I mean, check, check out that that action. It's just so smooth. It feels like the washers are polished, almost like a, T a TRM knife. You know, it feels like the washers are polished. I haven't checked, but, uh, cause I'm afraid to take apart the dual action, but yeah, this, uh, it's pretty cool. Then there's this lever underneath. And as you can see right here, right, that, that right there is a screw. That's actually a lever that holds the scale and it, it, it the scale, uh, 
cantilevers basically uh, across that lever and then you push down here and boom you've got your uh, your auto and now that it's deployed you'll see some resistance here and you'll push it back in re-engage the spring and now when you pull it back out again and push it back in you'll have no resistance that time so um, when the spring is engaged there's no resistance from the spring. When the spring, spring is disengaged, there is resistance from the spring. It's very cool the way that works. Uh, and I, I just think this is pretty awesome. As far as the condition, the handle's in really good condition. Uh, I think I used this a handful of times. That's a string or something. Um, I think I used this a handful of times. Uh, the coating on this, I don't see any imperfections in the coating. Uh, at all so this is in pretty much like new condition uh these were originally at 450 dollars uh because they're you know not out right now they're not available um i'll be asking you know essentially full price on what was paid for it which was 450 dollars so um uh these are you know semi-rare uh so uh, again 450 bucks um the uh if you're interested in this knife, go ahead and email me at triple.e.edc at gmail.com, triple.e.edc at gmail.com. All right, next up we have the Guardian Tactical Recon 035. Uh, this is an LMAX steel. Uh, let me see, where is, is it there? Where's the LMAX? There's the LMAX. This is an LMAX steel right there. Um, and uh, this is very cool. It has a hollow grind on swedge, a hollow grind on here, uh, and this has bearings. I don't know if you can see here. See, those are bearing tracks. There's two tracks up top, and should be one track down below, right? That's where the bearings run. So that track you see is the oil that was from the bearings. But uh, they have a patent pending. Um, I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah, patent pending on the uh, mechanism for the bearing over here, which I think is really cool. Uh, anyone who's ever gotten a Guardian uh, Tactical 03, Recon 035 will tell you the action on this is very different from pretty much any other OTF on the market. It feels much smoother all the way through. It really does. Um, this knife, uh, I was not the original owner. It came to me in very good condition. Uh, there is one, whoops, uh, one spot. I'll show you guys, whoops as I drop it. I'll show you guys right there. There's one spot sort of where it looks like it got either a ding or something. Um, it's very minor. I don't see anything else on here. Uh, just that. However, um, this uh, didn't come to me especially sharp. So uh, if you would like me to give it to you the, with the factory edge, I will do that. If you would like me to sharpen it, I will do that for free. Uh, so um, just let me know either way which one you'd want. And I sharpen on a uh, wicked edge, so uh, that, that's what you would, which I would be a wicked edge go. Okay, uh, so the Recon Tactical, Recon, um, uh, Recon 35, 035 from Guardian Tactical, they normally cost $270. This version has been sold out for quite some time. Uh, when they drop, they usually do sell out. Uh, so despite this being 270 normally, I will sell this one for 200 uh, You know, given the fact that there's a ding there and it needs to be sharpened. Um, you know, that is, it's going to go for 200. Uh, so again, know your, know your local laws. Uh, if you're, if you have any issues with local laws, um, uh, you know, email me, we'll see if something can be worked out. If it can, we'll figure it out. All right. Uh, next is the Wii Snacks Mini Buster. So this is a cool knife. Um, I, as many of you guys know, I have the full size buster, which I love. Uh, so I had to get the Mini Buster. Uh, the only reason I'm selling the Mini Buster, because it's a really cool knife, is frankly, I like the full-size one, uh, and I just reach for it more often. Um, and so that's just, a, that's just a size preference, right? Um, I mean, they, they are different knives. They're, they're different in many ways. But as far as, you know, the, the overall form factor, uh, they're so similar in the overall form factor that uh, it's hard for me to just, you know alternate between the two. I really just reach for one or the other. So uh, that's why I'm selling this one. This one is pretty new, uh, meaning, you know, I've, I've gotten it. I think I carried it once. Um, you know, I'm planning on carrying it probably one more time, uh, you know, and just using it a little bit uh, for a review. 
uh, just because, you know, I'm posting this one before I did the review. I'm posting this for sale before I did the review on this. Um, again, if anything significant changed in the, in the condition, I would work it out with whoever I, you know, decides to buy this. Um, but, you know, I, I assume that this is going to sit a, a day or so before it sells. Um, in any event, uh, this is going to be, um, uh, this is going to be 240. They're no normally 280, so the list is for 240. But right now it's in like new unboxed condition, uh, and I plan for it to stay that way. So um, as you can see here, excellent condition all around. All right. Last but not least, the Hinder XM24 Sheep's Foot. This is in the stonewash finish. This has an RC Blade Works uh, burlap micarta scale. Now, this has two other scales that come with it. Uh, and, and I'm going to give two deals here as a result of that. All right, you can buy it with the original G10 scale only, which is a black G10 scale. It's the standard Hinder G10 uh, scale that comes with the, with the knife. Um, for one price, or you can buy it for a bundle price with two other scales. Let me go ahead and show the knife and I'll talk about the scales. So this is a uh, stonewash finish. As you can see, sheep's foot blade. Many people prefer the sheep's foot over, over the other blade shapes. I like it a lot, but um, there are one or two other blade shapes I do like a little better, which is one of the reasons I'm selling this. The other reason I'm selling this is because I prefer stonewash or battle black uh, finish. I'm sorry, I prefer working finish or battle black to the stonewash finish. Um, so that's the reason, those are the main reasons I'm selling this. Uh, but this is a Gen 6 triway, uh, or I don't know if they, they call the XM24 is Gen 6, because I think the XM18 had six generations. I don't know if they, but either way, it's triway. It's, it's the XM24 triway. Um, and... Uh, uh, so it's right now it's on the bearings. It comes with uh, with the other stuff with it, and you know this is a uh, just a really nice knife. As you can see, it has fully drop shot action, uh, you know guillotine guillotine like action, uh, nice stone wash finish. Um, you know many of you guys are fans of the stone wash finish. Uh, if you want just the knife, these go for like six thirty five normally, and the XM twenty fours are for the most part sold out everywhere. Uh, so in, in pretty much all the blade shapes. So, uh, this is going to be, uh, normally they're 635 new. This is going to be 595, uh, for this. If you want it with the scales. Now this RC Bladeworks scale is a $60 scale. I also have a OD Green Frag G10 scale. That's also probably like a $60, $65 scale. Um, together... Those, both of those scales, plus the original scale and the knife, I will sell all together for six fifty. dollars um, if you guys want to bundle it. Otherwise, just buy the knife for five ninety five, dollars and I will part out the other ones uh, separately. All right, uh, I think that's it for tonight's sale. Uh, if you guys are interested in any of the knives, it's triple.e.edc at gmail.com, triple.e.edc at gmail.com. Looking forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks so much.